All right, y'all. Today I figured I'd do a quick little video showing you how to install one of these aluminum floors inside of your inflatable boat. Um, the first couple times it can be a little tricky, but it does get easier and let me show you how. Okay, so I've got all the flooring laid out here uh, as I think it'll be much easier to, to see and get an idea of how it all goes together if it's outside of the boat. So up front, you've got, uh, you've got this piece here. This is what goes in the front of your boat. You'll notice this cutout here. And what this is for is so that you can get access to the uh, inflation valve for your uh, inflatable keel, if you have one. Uh, if you don't, you may not have that hole there. And the way that, that these pieces all go together is it's like a, like a tongue and groove kind of setup. So you'll see this piece here, there's a, there's a female end here, and you've got a male end here. So these pieces will just kind of slide and lock together. Now on my Briss 10.8 foot boat, you've got the front nose piece, which is made of wood, and then you've got three aluminum sections after that, plus these locking side rails here. And let me show you how these locking side rails work. Okay, so these side rails actually work very similar to how the other pieces lock together. Uh, you've got a lip on the, uh, on the flooring here, and then you've got a groove inside of this rail here. And so what you're gonna wanna do, and it can be kind of fiddly, but you're gonna try to push them together and lock them into place like that, which keeps all three of these pieces uh, locked together and solid. Okay, before installing the flooring, go ahead and lay out like a tarp or like I'm using some moving blankets and roll your inflatable boat out onto it. Um, we're also gonna need to put some air in this thing because there's no way that you're gonna get the floor inside of this with it being completely deflated. But let's go ahead and get some air in it. Okay, so here we've got the boat inflated about a third of the way. You really don't wanna go much more than that because if it's too full, you're also not gonna be able to get the uh, flooring installed inside of it. Also, do not inflate the keel, only the, uh, the side chambers and the front chamber. Okay guys, uh, personally I like to put the nose piece in first. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get it in here, kind of tuck, tuck it up underneath the tubes, and bring it as far forward as you can. Keeping it away from the tubes. And you'll probably have to pull your inflation valve for your keel back a little bit or, or position it in some way. Just try to center it as best as you can. Pretty much something like that. And it probably won't stay perfectly centered, but hey, you tried. Okay, next we're gonna install these uh, aluminum sections here. And wanna make note, keep in mind that in this, like in this particular case, You've got the uh, male end here and the female end is on the wood board up front. Also, forgot to mention that this groove here that locks uh, those uh, sidebars in place, this needs to be on the upside. So the flooring is going to go in like that. So let's go ahead and get this installed. Once again, really all you're doing is just bringing these two pieces together so that they lock into place. We'll go get another section. And now after I do that section, I actually like to do the rear section. Once again, keeping in mind the way that the uh, tongue and groove setup is gonna go. So we'll fit this rear section in here and push it all the way to the back. And then we'll get our final flooring piece here. Okay. And we'll slide it in here. So go ahead and lock these two pieces together like that. Now, what you're going to notice is that these two don't fit together. But the trick here is to lift both pieces up like that. Get them started just like that and then push them down. Now go ahead and try to line the, this flooring up as best as you can. 
and then we'll go ahead and install these side pieces. Okay, let's see if we can't get these side pieces in. Now, the way these go, you've got this uh, flat side here. You'll see that this is kind of concave. And you'll know that this is the bottom. This is the flat side. And this is the, uh, the groove here that's gonna lock into these side pieces. So, what I kind of do is I kind of kind of roll it in and and try to center it up between all three pieces. So you just kind of roll it in. And you'll probably have to kind of wiggle it around a little bit, but when you hear them kind of click in like that, you'll know that you've got it. Now let's go ahead and do the other side. Same thing here. Come in from the side. Try to center it up between all three pieces and kind of roll it into place. And that's it. So one other thing I kind of wanted to point out, um, not all boats, but a lot of them will have this extra patch inside of here. They'll have it up front and in the rear. Uh, and that's to keep the uh, ends of this uh, of this side piece here from from rubbing through your boat so you know of course you want to try to line it up you know between all three pieces here but you also want to make sure that it is lined up with these patches so that you don't rub a hole through your boat anyways guys at this point you can go ahead and inflate the chambers to the recommended pressures and inflate your keel and get her out on the water uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and uh, until next time.